Hello everybody, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2017 ARC Forum in Orlando, Florida. Uh, with me today is my special guest, Gary Freeberger, President of Process Automation, Schneider Electric. How are you doing today, Gary? Very good, Craig, thank you. You know, obviously IIoT is a very hot topic. It's uh, probably one of the biggest buzzes as it continues at our forum. Uh, give me your perspective on IoT and the perspective of Schneider Electric. So as you think about IIoT and what's happened over the past several years, it's really around technology development and digitization, and how that's moving forward, and how that's driving the market. It's also about connectivity. So there's a lot of things that can be connected. You can look around your daily life today and find all types of things that are connected, from your home, your car, to any of those kind of things. But connectivity is only part of it. It really is, how do you now build the automation and the technology to bring some value to that connectivity? Okay. Now, obviously, nobody is going to invest anything in automation unless there is going to be a return on investment. So how are these solutions helping your customers or delivering productivity to your customers? So for many years uh, in our business, we have focused on efficiency and productivity. We've done this for a long time. We think we're very good at it. What we now have to think about is as technology evolves, as IIoT evolves, how do we bring value to the customer? So first, we start by thinking about what do we do? So we have an ecostructure platform that's an open and op interoperable platform that allows us to do innovation at every level. With that, we can then start thinking about how do we bring value to the customers relative to IIoT and connectivity. Okay, can you elaborate more on what innovation at every level means for your customers? Certainly, so when we think about ecostructure platform, we think about it in three levels. Connected devices, edge control, and apps and analytics. So for connected devices, we have things like our Altavar drives, which is a multivariable speed drive that is, is connected. It's uh, ethernet based. It allows the operator to have some basic control, um, some have some advanced process control, and contextualizes data that gives them the ability to make decisions at that asset level. Then the next thing is the edge control. This is things like our Modicon M580. This is a, uh, a PLC on the market that we think is the best in the market from a, from a speed, efficiency, and time to return. It's also, e also ethernet based, so we can connect to anything in a facility. And it allows us to bring value to the customers at that level through the connectivity. And then on top of it, we think about apps and applications, think about software. What can we put on top of these so that we can have connected devices that are smart, we have edge controls that are connecting everything together and make decisions, and then apps and analytics on top. And when you put all those together, we can now do innovation at each one of those levels. And as we do that and cascade it up, we can then bring significant value to our customer. Now, do you see from the IAOT side, uh, how does that bring operational profitability? How does that enhance operational profitability to your customer base? So again, how we think about this is for many years, as I said, we focused on efficiency and productivity in facilities. What we're thinking about now is IIoT gives us the ability through digitization and through the technology advancements to connect a lot more things. Now, frankly, in our business, we've had connectivity for a long time. That's what control systems are. They're connected. But it's only connected to small parts of a facility or a plant. What we think about now is as you bring IIoT and connectivity, you can bring a lot more things to the party. When we start bringing all those things to the party, we think about now what do we do with this? We build what we think are some, um, some world-class opportunities around profitability. So efficiency is not the only thing. In fact, it's something that we've done in the past, everybody does very well. What we now have to think about is what's the value of IIoT to the customer? The value is profitability. How do we help them make decisions at the lowest asset level and at an enterprise level to improve profitability. At the end of the day, that's what the customer wants. He wants to be able to impact profitability. So we don't do IIoT just for the sake of connectivity. We do it for how do we bring value to the customer. Yeah. Now, strategically, that all sounds great. Can you talk about how you do that tactically? So what we think about is start with an asset level. And when we talk about assets, it's a little different than what we've talked about in the industry in the past. We start with the lowest level. So let's take a pump. We think about the, a pump as an asset. We build all the infrastructure around that asset to provide back to the operator what kind of decisions can he make for that particular asset that makes the most sense. And we optimize that. We allow them to then make the right decisions. 
Then you take that to the next level and say, now we're going to look at an area. So a pump sitting inside of an area. How do we now then build around this, this area of assets the same type of capabilities? And the way I think about it is, as, you know, the old adage, the weakest um, link in the chain. So when you start building up, you look at what are the weakest links, look at it overall, and how do we now optimize that, and how do we then bring the information to the operator that allows them to make decisions now at that level, then you can take it up to a plant level, and then you can take it to an enterprise level. So when we talk about asset management, we start with the individual asset and go all the way up to an enterprise level. Okay, tell me how this is also going to help the industrial workforce. So this is a really interesting point. So as you start to do this, as you start to build this information and take things like um, the control analyzer and profit analyzer that we've just recently um, uh, announced. What it does is it gives us the ability through the partnerships that we have with, the, with two other uh, folks to bring that information down to the operator and give the operator the right information to make a decision around profitability. So it's not around efficiency, we've already done that, it's around profitability. And what it does is it, is it gets the operator much more involved in the business. They feel like they're part of the business. So, as we see this progressing, what we see is a very excited, a very engaged workforce who can now feel like they really are part of the business. So it's no longer a group of managers sitting at the top level, taking reports that they've received from 30 days prior, making some decisions or looking at the analytics around what happened in the plant in the last 30 days, then come back down to the operators and say, well, we'd like you to do better because last month you made these decisions and here was the impact. We now put that, um, put that power in their hands. And what we see and the feedback that we get from everybody that we engage with, and we have some, some case studies where we've done this, is the operators are much more engaged. They really do like the ability to, to understand the impact that they're having on the business and understand profitability. So it's all about asset optimization, is that correct? It is absolutely about asset optimization. You start with our EcoStructure platform, you do innovation at every, every level that we've talked about, those three levels, the connected devices, the edge control, the apps, and you look at each one of those and say, how do we provide value at each one of those asset levels, cascade it up to the next level and to the top level, and at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're driving profitability from the smallest asset all the way up to the enterprise level. At the end of the day, this will drive significant improvement in a customer's value chain and take some of this decision making after the fact away and makes it real time. The biggest point here is real time. It's not 30 days later, an operator wants to make a decision, we've given the analytics and the simulation models to be able to look at it and say what happens to the decision that I make and understand it and either decide to make that decision or to do something different. That's great, Gary. Hey, thank you very much for being here, Gary. And again, thank you very much uh, for coming from the ARC 2017 Orlando Forum. Thanks and have a great day. Great, thank you.